Did you go, Maganura? Did you crash land somewhere around here? Maganura? Hello, friend. Want to show me how you eat your food? No, I'm not the food. I may not have thought this through fully. I should go. Except, you're not going to let me go. Think, Dana, think. Look at your four wings. They're really incredible. So incredible that scientists think you could fly in six directions. You could fly to one side, the other, down, up, backward, and forward too. Or just hover, like a helicopter. Well, I may not be able to fly in as many directions as you, but I can run. both of us. <laughs> gimme Sara's egg compy. Oh, I mean, gimme Sara's egg pterodactylus. Your nest is on the roof. She must think Sara's egg is one of hers. Sorry, compy. Building their nests up high must be how some pterosaurs protect their eggs from egg eaters like you. How am I gonna get Sara's egg down? Think, Dana, think. Compy got Sara's egg from me because it was so quick. who wanted to eat it, and a pterodactylus who wanted to raise it as its own. And I helped you with laundry, and I finished my dino experiment, too. Uh. Microraptor and Archaeopteryx spotted. Dino experiment 720, which was the fastest prehistoric winged reptile, has begun. Our first race is between the Microraptor, who is a dinosaur with four wings to glide, two on its arms and two on its legs and the Archaeopteryx, who is the first bird with two big wings on its side for flapping. It's dinosaur versus prehistoric bird time. Now to make me think I'm a predator. Yeah. And we're off. It's beak to beak. Raptor is slowing down just as the Archaeopteryx is speeding up. Looks like two wings for flapping are better than four wings for gliding. It's okay, Microraptor. You're one of the few dinosaurs that could glide. He still seems upset. Congrats, Archaeopteryx! 
<laughs> Looks like being the first bird also lets you come in first. But there's still one more race to go. My prediction is that the Archaeopteryx is faster because birds are still around today. <laughs> Looks like they're hungry. They're both flapping their wings. But the Archaeopteryx can't flap its wings as much as the Pterodactylus can. The Pterodactylus' bigger flaps are speeding it up. Looks like two wings that can do bigger flaps are faster than two wings that can't. Don't worry, Archaeopteryx. Even though you're not as fast as the Pterodactylus, birds have survived for 65 million years longer than the dinosaurs or pterosaurs. Congrats, Pterodactylus! You're the fastest prehistoric winged reptile. And you're about to get the bait. Here we go. If you eat the celery, that means you're a dinosaur. But if you eat the chicken, that means we'll have to do another test to see what kind of prehistoric reptile you are. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. This is so exciting. Inconclusive! Wait, you have feathered wings, which means you're a dinosaur. You can fly? Did I miss anything? No, she knew she was faster than me, so she didn't need to fly. Sounds like we need to get faster. How fast did you say this thing could go? As fast as a T-Rex. Perfect. <laughs> we need to go faster. We're almost there. <laughs> now we both need to <laughs> Very clever, Compy. Use your nest to camouflage your eggs and yourself. Unfortunately, I can't let you keep these pegs. My little brother won't have a bed. Whoa, friend. You want me to call that Archaeopteryx back over? Didn't think so.
the only one trying to get into that nest. Good luck, Compy. Ouch. Whoever built this nest built it strong enough so it could hang from a branch and out of reach from hungry predators. Oh, and there's our dino builder now. Raptor, you mind giving me back those screws you stole? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, hey, Riker Raptor, what's up? Oh, look, in our Keopteryx nest. I bet they have yummy eggs in there. See if she could steal an egg and hopefully knock the crib instructions down. <laughs> oh, the Michael Raptor got one! Oh, she dropped the egg. There's no way that egg would survive that fall. Wait! The egg survived! The paper from the instructions must have been soft enough to protect the egg. Oh, I can't take that protection away from the Archaeopteryx. Sorry, Daxter. Dino Experiment 726, test number two. All right, dinosaurs, I know the Trudon was an insectivore, but let's see who else is hungry for a tasty insect. It's a coatless. Biggest flying creature of all time. Did you eat insects? <laughs> nope. Looks like you preferred small dinosaurs like the Compsognathus. What about you, Pterodactylus? Did you eat insects? <gasps> or did insects eat you? Microraptor, you're a dinosaur with four wings that you use to glide. But are you a fast enough glider to catch a Meganura? Looks like I'm about to find out. Microraptor is closing in. He did it! The Microraptor caught a Meganura, which means Microraptors are insectivores. Now to see if this hunting style will work for Dad. 